What would we do without hand or power tools? Although all this time and effort has gone into making safety warnings and easy to read safety instructions, there are still those who carelessly disregard them, and unfortunately more times than not, they are the recipients of a horrific injury. Let's take a moment to talk about some basic rules for hand tool safety. Only use a tool for its intended purpose, and avoid the temptation of adapting the tool to make it work. Using a tool for anything other than its intended purpose is a primary cause of injury. Even with proper use, wear and tear is inevitable, so monitor your tools to make sure they are in good condition. For example, worn teeth on a pipe wrench can easily slip. Adjustable wrenches will slip if its jaws are sprung, and hammerheads fly off loose handles. Cutting tools should be kept sharp to ensure good, smooth, clean cutting. When using knives, shears, or other cutting tools, always cut in a direction away from your body. Although tempting, never carry tools in your hand or pocket when climbing. Under no circumstances should you ever toss tools up to a co-worker that are elevated or have them toss you down tools from an elevation. Always use the bucket method to ensure the safety of all in the vicinity. Remember the number one rule for preventing injury is to read and follow the manufacturer's manual that came with your tool or equipment. One major consideration to remember is to avoid using power tools in wet environments. The failure to do so could be shocking. If you must work in a damp environment, be sure that the tools are protected by a ground fault circuit interrupter. Double check to see if your drill is double insulated. This helps provide additional protection against electric shock. When it comes to power tools, most experts agree that the circular saw is likely to be the most commonly abused and most dangerous power tool. Some of the absolute safety requirements when using any circular saw are wearing eye protection. Dust masks are required to protect from inhalation of not just nuisance dust, but also against the inhalation of some of the toxic products used in today's manufactured wood products. Hearing protection is required to prevent overexposure to these noise levels. Avoid holding a piece of work with your hand or against your leg while sawing. Portable jig or saber saws are a very handy power saw to have in your collection of tools. As with all power tools, eye protection during use is a must. When operating a saber saw, be sure that the tool's base plate or shoe rests firmly on the work before turning on the tool. And of course, be sure to keep your hands and fingers clear of moving parts. Check for any electrical wiring, water pipes, or other objects that may be in the cutting path. Routers typically operate in the range from 20,000 to 30,000 RPM or more. Of course, always follow the rules of personal protective equipment. Since rotating parts can pull you into a sharp bit, never wear gloves, loose clothing, jewelry, or any dangling objects. Also, be sure to keep your hands away from bits or cutter areas. Maintain a firm grasp on the router's gripping surface with both hands at all times. Failure to do so could result in loss of control, leading to a very serious injury. Never remove chip shields or guards as they're there for your safety. When removing a router from the work surface, always be careful to point or turn the base and bit away from you or anyone in the vicinity. Check that the switch is in the off position before plugging into the power outlet. Carefully check that your drill is in safe operating condition, and especially the condition of the power cord. Be sure the chuck is tightly secured to the spindle, and the drill bit is secure as well. If the drill uses a key chuck, be sure to remove it before use to prevent it from flying off the chuck and causing injury. Don't forget the personal protective equipment recommended by the tool manufacturer. Never try to free a jammed bit by starting and stopping the drill. As you get close to breaking through, be sure to hold the drill firmly and reduce pressure to allow the bit to smoothly finish the hole. When the job gets tough, it's time to break out the impact tools. 
One of the most important rules to remember is only use sockets specifically designed for use with impact tools. Impact sockets are denoted by their black finish and heavier construction. Because of the high speeds, you must be sure to read the tool's safety manual and other instructions for all applications and use of this tool. Be sure to only use equipment approved and rated for the speed of your tool. This is another reason to wear all the appropriate personal protective equipment as recommended by the manufacturer. Be sure the switch is in the off position before plugging in. Hold the wheel or cutter away from you and co-workers when starting a grinder. Avoid using excessive pressure during use since this can bend or break the collet, mandrel, wheel, or cutter. Well, we've barely scratched the surface on hand and power tool safety. If you have any questions, be sure to bring it to the attention of your supervisor. Your safety is much more important to do anything less.